What's up everybody, Wally Renee here for The Modest 2. I'm gonna show you how to make full arch temps in ExoCAD without having to mark margins. So what you need to do is you need to actually open up a case in which you did a diagnostic wax up. Make sure you're doing your diagnostic wax up in the mock-up module, this really helps because that is a very powerful Boolean tool. So you're gonna open back up the original wax up and typically you're just gonna hit the load scene file. And what's gonna load is the pre-op wax up that you made. Now, these are usually on some pre-op model or maybe a virtually prepared cast, and um, typically you have this wax up sitting and waiting for the day of tooth preparation. Patients approve the wax up, maybe you've tried it in, maybe you've showed them some printed models. So first thing you need to do is go to expert mode and hit next, and then go to delete reconstructions. You're gonna delete the merged part, then you're gonna delete the virtual wax up, and then one more file, you need to come down here and find the virtual Wax up bottom and delete that. Then go to tools, add remove mesh, and go ahead and load the new prep scan. And this is the day of preparation now. So you're gonna find that prep scan. This is real time for this part of the video. It's just wicked fast because I'm trying to keep it under five minutes here. So this is not sped up at all. And now once you have that file in there, it's not aligned, but just go right back to the wizard by hitting that magic wand. And what you're gonna do is follow the wizard now, and the wizard's gonna talk you through it. So step number one is click a common point between your prep scan and your pre-op scan. So here I'm picking the incisive pillar. If you need more points, you could hold control on your keyboard and find other points to help the algorithm. Go ahead and hit next and hit replace entire jaw scan. That's the third option there, replace entire jaw scan. So now we're just picking the path of insertion for our full arch of temps. Now, sometimes you might not have an, a uniform path of insertion for the entire arch, in which case you'll just segment this out and do um, a quadrant or, or a sextant at a time here. Just basically what you wanna do is see all your margins all the way around each prep. From a unified path of insertion, the software is going to put wax in areas that it thinks might prevent your temp from seeding. And so in the case of this full arch, of preps, there's going to be a little bit of areas that might have some wax flown in there to ensure that I could seat this printed provisional, which will really decrease stress on delivery to know that it's gonna seat. So now we're gonna just go ahead and follow the wizard. It's gonna generate the virtual wax up scan, which is this kind of Ninja Turtle green wax up. And from here, you're just gonna hit next. In this step, you're you're looking at your original wax up that you did. Um, now you just wanna make sure that your prep teeth don't stick through it anywhere where perhaps you under reduced or maybe your margin was a little super gingival or something. So here I'm just going to my add tool and just making sure that I don't have any holes anywhere from my original wax up that I did, which was on the kind of pre-op model. So this is now a prep model. So I'm just fine tuning here and making sure that I don't have any holes or anything weird going on and I'm just gonna stretch those areas out. Here I'm just using the add tool, preferentially on a larger brush size so that you don't just start creating little distortions. Okay, so now that we've done that, there's really only a few things that you need to do. Under your adapt, you could go ahead and just adapt your static occlusion, adapt your proximal contacts, because this is a segmented bridge. I have three different sextants here, posterior, anterior, and then posterior. So I'm gonna go ahead now and show you guys the static occlusion really quick by going to view contacts here. So there's my static occlusion. If I wanted to modify that, I could. But again, that is based off of a wax up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go with it for the sake of time here. Now, lastly, and probably most importantly, you need to go ahead and adapt and then do adapt hard cut to jaw scan. And what that does is it takes that original wax up that you did and slices it to fit your preps. And really what it's fitting is the blockout model that ExoCAD created. And that's it. So you're gonna hit next and here is the merge part that you 3D print. Now you could decide whether you wanna print the whole thing together. You could right click, save scene as and export the whole thing. But I designed these in the setup tab with connectors everywhere except distal to the canine. So I have three units and I could print three separate units. Now, if I wanted to, um, I could export these right here, or ExoCAD automatically saves this in the project folder as a CAD file. But here I'm just gonna right click, save scene as, export as a plain STL, call it uh, anterior segment, save it somewhere you could remember. And I'm gonna go ahead and visible objects only, yes, and default 
coordinate system. And then I could potentially even backtrack here and change the path of insertion for the posterior segments and export those separately with a new path of insertion and have it do a new Boolean cut to a newly generated wax up bottom. So again, though, this is, this is real time right here. So everything was done in under five minutes. And so, you know, it's super efficient to be able to have a temp to the printer, especially if you're in control of your own destiny by designing yourself. Now, if you're not, no big, big deal. You could get a lab technician to do all this kind of stuff for you. So I'm just showing you now sped up here how I'm going to reset my path of insertion for my posterior segments and then basically redo the same steps that I just told you guys um, by following the wizard and, and recutting, um, deleting my merged parts, deleting my wax up bottom, and then going back now with the new path of insertion and recutting my posterior segments here um, to the new path of insertion, and then I could re-export those separately. So anyway, I hope this really helps, guys. I think this is way more powerful than any other software that you could have on the market, and I hope you guys take advantage of this.